Welcome to Cosmos with Bailey. I'm Bailey and I'm a psychic medium and spiritual healer based in New Zealand. And this is going to be a helping hand and a little bit of an introduction to energy work for men. And I wanted to do this video because uh, I think there's a lot of men out there that maybe need a helping hand and are, are quite quietly spiritual. And I don't really feel like the comment, the, the way that spirituality is portrayed right now, um, I feel like a lot of really common sense men probably wouldn't resonate with it. And a lot of the men that come through to make the healing work are literally men that are salt of the earth and so practical and so common sense. And I really wanted to sort of show that very practical, easy to use energy work can be so invigorating and so empowering for your masculinity. And um, it doesn't have to be this weird, eerie, fury thing that people wearing hippy-dippy costumes do. And I just wanted to sort of open it up and um, for men specific, specifically and sort of show that it's actually when it's done right and when it's done with practicality and ease, with, with the right person, it can literally change your whole entire experience of your masculinity and your own self-empowerment on the spirit level. So in this guided meditation or guided energy work, I'm just going to guide you through a very simple to use energy technique to do with the chakra of the solar plexus. So if you haven't done any uh, uh energy work before or you're, you're just, you're not, you think, oh, this chakra business is a bit mumbo jumbo. I guarantee you that if you do this technique, you will see vast differences in your empowerment of your masculinity. <laughs> um, and so anyone can use this technique, whether you are already aware of your chakra system or your spirit, um, or you are feeling like things just aren't cutting it anymore, you're sick of feeling disempowered, you want to take up more space, you want to own your masculinity, and you want to feel more seen in the everyday real world. I know a lot of really amazing men don't feel seen because there's so much maybe loud or more dominating or domineering masculinity that's coming from the ego. And, um, yeah, so I'm just going to talk a little bit about the solar plexus before we go into the guided um, meditation and energy work. And the solar plexus in men, so the solar plexus chakra is, you've got your heart chakra in your chest, the pink heart chakra. I'm going to link a picture of the chakras. And then you've got your solar plexus that sits uh, just below the, the heart in your upper belly area, uh, I stand up, it's just here, your solar plexus power is just here, and um, essentially, when men don't have a really, really strong solar plexus and, and sacral chakra, and the, but the solar plexus is just so big for masculinity and owning your masculinity and owning your empowerment and feeling really good in the body and not afraid to be seen and heard and empowered with your masculinity because there's a lot of weird stuff <laughs> online about masculinity and I honestly from my perspective we actually really need it um, and and we, we need empowered spiritually empowered men on the earth for a better earth so um yeah, the solar plexus, when it's like really open and empowered in a man, you cannot tell this man what to do. Um, you will be governed by yourself, your own empowerment. You're not going to let other men or other people around you try and disempower you or tell you what to do because you're empowered and you're like, nah, I'm good, thanks. I know where I'm going. And that, like women love this in men. And do not believe anything you see on the internet. Uh, a very spiritually healthy woman loves your masculine empowerment. So, um, yes. Solar plexus is assertion. It's deciding for yourself what you want with your spirit and the cosmos and in alignment with the creator and your free will choice here on the earth. It's aligning with your own empowerment, your own wants and needs, not allowing others to govern you. 
um, and not allowing others to come and play in your energy field and try and tell you or coerce you into doing things that you don't want to do. <laughs> With a strong solar plexus, you are self-guided and self-governed and you are full of your own power. Solar plexus is the one for masculinity. Okay, what else? Anything else in the soul? Yeah, assertion, empowerment, free will choice. It's um, the light, like the sunshine of masculinity. And it, it, when men feel really empowered from the soul effects, they feel better. And there's this radiance that shines out of them because they're going after what they want. They're choosing what they want to do. No, I don't want that, but I want this. Now, this will also help you with uh, fe feminine energy and feeling a bit more confident. A lot of confidence and um, self-assuredness comes from the solar plexus chakra for men. With women, the solar plexus, um, ex ex um, through the feminine essence, um, it expresses it very differently and a lot more lighter. So, uh, yes, okay. And it's, it's just empowering and it's enjoyable. You start to really enjoy your masculinity when you've got a really, really great solar plexus. Um, and so what happens sometimes when you're super empowered is other people trying to try to disempower you. I would go and watch the psychic reasoning of why people try and pull you down. But when you're holding lots of self-empowerment, it can be really triggering for other men and they will try to subconsciously disempower you. But if you've got a really strong solar plexus and you're really embodied in your masculinity and your light and your divinity, you won't tolerate it and you won't allow it. <laughs> but it doesn't mean that you're going to stand up and say, hey, if off, you're most likely just going to be nah and just walk away because you have too much self-respect and too much dignity to be playing those silly games. Okay, without further ado, let us move into the guided meditation with the solar plexus for our divine men. Hello, and welcome to Masculine Empowerment Energy Work Guided by Me, Bailey. So this is going to be a very short video, but I would say you can either do this standing up or sitting down, but please do not lie down. Okay, so please close your eyes and shake off your body and your shoulders and get a little bit of energy flowing by moving your body and your shoulders and just releasing a little bit of tension in the chest area. You may just want to open up the chest a little bit, try and open up the belly area, do a little bit of movement in the body. We're just going to shake it off, maybe get our hands hands out of our pockets or off our laps and just give them a big shake and let things hang off. And shake the hands out, open up the shoulders, do a little bit of movement with the arms and the hands. And, uh, yes. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take a big breath in and then release out through the mouth <sighs> and just really let it be relaxed don't try and dictate the breath let it out in a relaxed manner and we're going to do that one a few more times we're going to breathe and take a big deep breath in and hold in our shoulders <sighs> and let it out <sighs> and let the shoulders go we're going to do that one more time we're going to take a big deep breath in Hold the shoulders and out. <sighs> release the shoulders. Just going to release a little bit of tension there. Okay, so. Okay, so now let's move into the solar plexus. I'm going to guide you through the chakras. So we're going to start with our crown chakra. that is sitting at the top of our head like a white and violet orb. I want you to check the colors as we go through and how they're looking and maybe you can come back at a later date and tune into your own chakra system and see what's going on but for, but, but for today's session we are focusing on the solar plexus. We have the crown chakra, the violet chakra, the light white violet chakra is the chakra where we receive intuitive impulses from our higher self in the cosmos. We then move into the third eye chakra which is the uh, 
dark violet purple chakra, very violet and indigo violet colour that allows us to have psychic sight. Psychic sight doesn't necessarily mean high levels of clairvoyance or um, or psychic ability. It means the, the, the ability to be able to read and see energy clearly. This is how we can get high levels of psychic discernment and um, spiritual insight from the third eye and what's going on around us in the earthly realm. We then move down to the crown, to the throat chakra, which is the blue chakra, the electric blue chakra in our throat. It should look like an orb. I would like you to check the color of that as we move through each of the chakras and you can come back at a later date. When the throat chakra is disempowered, we have trouble expressing what we want and what we need from an empowered state. Sometimes when our throat chakra is shut down, our words can come out overly aggressive and for more forceful than we intended. We don't feel empowered in the way that we speak and we're not fully connected into the heart. So yes, just, just look into the throat chakra and see how it's going. And then we're going to move down into the heart chakra in the chest area and where we have our pink heart chakra. And I'd like you to look into the color of this how it's looking, how big it is, is it vibrant, do you, you need to go away and do some work on your heart chakra. The heart chakra empowers a man in love with his spirit, in love with the cosmos and with love for himself and his spirit embodiment. We cannot have divine masculinity without divine love within the man. Now we're going to move down to our solar plexus chakra, which is the chakra that we're going to work with today. So it's just below the heart chakra, right under the rib cage, the beginning of the rib cage, I would say. And I want you to look at the orb of energy that's sitting there, and it should be a type of yellow. We're going to come back to the solar plexus. I'm just going to guide you through the last two chakras, and then we'll come back to the solar plexus. Then we're going to move down into the sacral chakra. The sacral chakra is the orange orb that sits in the middle, lower middle of your belly. This sacral chakra governs creativity, it governs sexual energy. This is the seat of masculine sexual power. It is a very powerful chakra for masculinity. Please tune in and see what it's looking like. You're welcome to pause this. Now we're going to move to the root chakra. The root chakra is right where I'd say your phallus is sitting. The root chakra, usually men have a very strong and sturdy root chakra and it is reared. And this is the root chakra of stability. It is grounding us into the earth. It is having all your financial stuff sorted, all your life circumstances sorted. Men are usually very, very good with a very strong root chakra and have it already. They're very grounded to the earth. In spirituality, when we have our females that are not rooted or grounded into the earthly reality, they have a very weak root chakra. Um, and that's how you get um, spiritual information that is just eerie, fairy off of the earth because they're not rooted into the body with the earth chakra. There's another chakra underneath that that moves into the... Um, into the earth, which is called the earth star chakra, but we won't be going in that, into that today. Now we're going to move back on up to the solar plexus chakra, our yellow chakra, sitting right underneath the heart chakra and in between the sacral chakra, which is orange, and then we have yellow. Yellow for self-empowerment. Okay, so with the solar plexus, what I would like you to do is I would like you to tune in to the solar plexus with your awareness, with your eyes closed. And I want you to feel into that chakra and how it's feeling to you right now. And connect into it with your awareness. Move your awareness into the middle of that orb of, of empowerment of yellow. How much yellow is radiating from that chakra? Does it look dim? Does it look disempowered? Does it look forgotten? How does it feel to you? Does it look like there's only a teeny bit of yellow there and then the rest is dark? Is it murky? Please tune in. 
I'm just also going to say that um, because I don't know what's actually going on in your energy body, this is a very general meditation, and there could be other um, disempowering connections or energies working within your solar plexus that would probably need an individual um, session. So yes, just use this as a source of introduction to working with the chakra because I don't know what's going on in your energy body. Okay, so how is this chakra looking? Do you feel it looks empowered? Do you feel that it could be brighter? Do you feel that you could feel better with this chakra, open and expanded and empowered with your masculine essence? What I would like you to do is to focus into that chakra now and begin to grow the color and brighten the chakra. I will give you a little bit of time for this or you can pause this while you do that. When we brighten and open up the chakra, we feel a sense of relief or release and we start to feel lighter and happier and more joyous when we work with our chakras. When you have gotten a very sturdy looking orb of yellow energy and essence, I would like you to continue to grow the yellow out of your body. Very, very slowly. Please pause this while you do that. Okay, so once you have gotten the orb right open and out of the side of your body with the most vibrant, brightest yellow you can muster with your concentration and growing of that empowerment. I want you to continue growing that chakra and that 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 orb of energy now. There should be a really strong sturdy ball of light, yellow light where the chakra is in your body. And then the, the energy and the essence and the and the energy should be and the life force should be starting to radiate out of your body in a in, a, in another orb almost. And what I would like you to do is to continue to grow that orb with your awareness on all sides so it starts to encompass your entire body and it starts to move out of the physical constraints of your physical body and into your energy field and aura. I want you to watch as that energy, um, and please pause if you're continuing to grow this. This works. This technique works best. Um, when you do it very slowly and with very great concentration. So please pause at any moment if you would like to do that. And then just continue moving out that energy. So even get your hands out and start pushing out the yellow energy and help that life force empowerment to move out. And it, the, the yellow gets bigger than you. It's bigger than your head and the crown chakra. It's radiating out of you. It's radiating out of all sides and this orb of solar plexus, life force and empowerment and masculine, yes, I want to say, becomes you. It is your energy field and you become this ball of white, bright, yellow solar plexus energy. I want you to sit in that and meditate. Maybe just put your hand on the solar plexus and do a few breathing and breathing techniques and really feel into that empowerment of taking up space with your masculine energy and owning your space with the solar plexus empowerment in this way. Just sit, just stand there for a minute and, and really focus in on that orb that you've built. Please pause. After that, I want you to slow, very, I want you to take your hands out and encompass this orb that's now your energy body, energy field and aura. I want you to, and you may see some energies begin to leave your aura that was stuck in there. That's a cleansing of your aura and your energy field. Now you want to, with your hands, you want to encompass the entirety of this yellow orb that you've become. And you very slowly want to move your hands and bring this yellow energy back into your body on all sides using both hands like you are guiding the orb back into your body now. 
very, very slowly, please. And you're moving the energy back into the body. Back into the soul plexus chakra, the original orb. And you're, the energy is going straight back in and it empowers and you're feeling the energy go into the solar plexus and it and you can feel this oh happen as all this energy that you've built comes back into the solar plexus and it's your empowerment now to take up space with your masculinity and your own assertion this energy is yours okay thank you so much for listening that was a very easy to use technique and you can come back to this time and time again i would highly recommend to use this technique a few days a week and, and every time you do it you're going to feel better and better and better and when you start working with energy and life force in this way in the chakra system um a lot of the times really good um results come from doing something over a long period of time and each time you would do this technique it builds that empowerment and that assertion and taking up space and being really comfortable and doing that over time energy work works best when you are dedicated to it and you do it over time okay thank you so much for listening and i hope this was empowering for you